so how many of you guys have a favorite sunscreen and it's Korean, right? Right? These are just so good. I'm talking beauty of Joseon, numbers in, haru haru, good. Oh. <laughs> and new game changers like pick up. <laughs> eh? Before we dive into the products, I just want to talk about why Korean products are just so different from other skincare. Three things. First is that formulas are all really gentle with a focus on skin barrier and hydration rather than using strong actives to do all the work. Even when dealing with acne and hyperpigmentation and more on this later. Second thing is that products are affordable so even if we buy a bunch of them we're not gonna go bankrupt. Although we still might. Tee <laughs> And one of the main reasons is that in Korea, they have these huge companies that actually handle the production of skincare products for a lot of different brands that we see. Because they have a lot of the research already, that means less cost for the brands to have to do themselves, therefore lowering the price when it comes to us when we want to buy pretty little bottles. Third is that the formulation and technology is years, if not decades ahead of the rest of the world. And this is especially true when it comes to sunscreen. Shireen, who's a dermatologist, in New York has said that the FDA hasn't actually updated the sunscreen and UV filters that American brands can use. Very honestly, the sunscreens we have in the US are not great because the last time a UV filter was approved in the US was crickets. 1999. Basically 20 years ago and that's why these Korean and Japanese and even European sunscreens are way ahead of just what the US can make. So we look to Korea. Now I want to show you five brands that I think do all of these just so well. So good. Starting with the most poppin brand. Boop. This guy has literally the whole internet shook and it's the Relief Sun Rice and Probiotic Sunscreen. TikTok, IG, YouTube, every other platform Form that you could be on, I'm sure, has talked about this sunscreen. It's SPF 50, it's glowy, it doesn't even feel like you're really wearing sunscreen, and it's just like, chef's freaking kiss. Look at this, guys. You blend it in, and voila! It disappears. It's gone. But today, we're gonna be talking about their second sunscreen baby, which actually just recently launched, and it's this guy. This is the Matte Sunstick Mugwort and Camellia. Hoo! Okay, let me just dab my sweat because I'm so excited. So as the name suggests, this is a sunstick that was made in collaboration with Ramon, who is a cosmetic chemist, a product developer, and also an influencer here on YouTube. I really respect that they collaborated with someone who really knows about product, and you can just see. <laughs> All right, guys, applying this IRL to show you the soft blurring properties. So I'm going to apply it on this side. I only have my normal skincare on, so the last step was moisturizer. And you just make like strokes across the face, across the forehead. And actually for a really good coverage, you want to do this at least like three times. And bam. My freaking pores even look smaller. And then look how like shiny this side is. <laughs> I don't even know if my makeup primers are able to make my skin look this good. Did you just see that? So what you just saw happen on my skin applying it is actually the mattifying properties of silica. And this really just helps to absorb the shine as well as give you that baby's butt soft focus matte look. On top of the mugwort and camellia, it also has green tea, eggplant, aloe extract, and it wasn't chalky, it wasn't streaky. And so after using it, I realized this is just perfect for those days where you don't want to really wear anything, but you don't want to look so greasy and oily and glowy. You don't even need to powder, which is crazy because I always have to powder my face. And on top of that, it's actually the perfect makeup primer if you're going to be using anything like CC cream, foundation, because I tried it both ways and it was just so good. But if you have no makeup on and you're out and about and you just need to like degrease and like reapply sunscreen, this literally does it all. But keep this in mind, which is something that I actually learned from Lab Muffin. In order to get the SPF 50 protection that this says on the level, you actually have to apply it more than you think. So normally people would just like, you know, your IG influencers, they're like, oh my God, yes, one layer. That will only actually give you about SPF 10 or 15 colors. 
coverage. But to get SPF 50 with a sunscreen stick, you need to do at least four complete layers. Remember that horrifying picture of like the person who didn't sunscreen their neck and it was all haggard and everything? This is actually so much better to apply. So I highly recommend all you guys with oily combination skin. I think you will absolutely love this, especially for the T-zone. So happy for Beauty of Josan and Ramon. The other two additions from the Beauty of Josan line is their red bean. Oh my God. They have this refreshing pore mask. I want to talk about this one. This is $20. Every time I have used this, my skin, when I wash it off, has been brightened. Couples that mask together. And what clay and pore mask do is essentially our pores excrete sebum and if it's too filled or we're not cleansing right, then it can fill up that pore, making it look unnecessarily big. <laughs> And so pore mask can really just help to like magnetize all that extra sebum. This is the softest, most luscious, flexible clay mask I have ever used. This and the Wind Atlas mask are my two holy grail masks. So what about the red bean? What makes that so special? Red bean actually has saponins in them, which help with the absorption of sebum, but also is lightly exfoliating. Then the clay component is actually cowling clay, and cowling clay is the best for all skin types because it's not overly drying, but it does just enough for everyone just to be able to absorb that oil. And when I put this on, I was like, oh my God, this smells so good. Why does this smell like apple? It's because it actually has pear fruit extract, apple leaf extract, as well as strawberry fruit extract. And like, it leaves your skin like a baby's skin. It's like, now the red bean water gel. So for every oily gal out there, I think this one is for you because it is the quintessential gel cream texture. Do you see this consistency? I think it almost feels like a serum consistency, but just a little bit more moisturizing. So this contains about 44% of the red bean extract, as well as three types of peptides. And peptides are there to strengthen the skin barrier. I feel like if you have oily and combination skin, this gel cream will be perfect for you. All right, next, moving on to Nambuzin. Nambuzin, I don't know really how you kind of like call it, nor do I really know what that name means. What does it mean? Nambuzin, an honest and effective skincare brand. What's your number? What's your number? Just kidding. All their serums and products have this like number in them. Also, like what is with their website right now? I think their website is closing. Is that weird? That is not what I expected to see. But anyways, I got these on Amazon, which is I think their official store as well. So I'm gonna talk about this one first because it surprised me the most. It's a gel consistency, but it is so not just your normal run of the mill gel. It's actually a heavier gel. And what I mean by heavier is that when you put it on, it's actually really moisturizing and really nourishing, which was not what I expected. I pumped one to two and it was like way too much for my face because of how moisturizing it was. I was like, huh, this ingredient and formulation must have more like oils in it. And then I was like, hmm, there's a faint citrus smell in this. And I was like, okay, interesting. And was further blown away because it's actually got three types of vitamin C. Ascorbyl glucoside, ascorbic acid, 3 ascorbyl, no, 3 ethyl ascorbyl, 3 ethyl, 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid, as well as C buckthorn, which is kind of like a natural source of vitamin C. And then it's got lemon peel oil, lime oil, orange peel oil. So there's actually a lot of nourishing ingredients and brightening ingredients. There's 305 comments on this on Amazon with a four out of five rating. So I think all in all, this is actually a really great serum. But what I think they could have taken out is just that kind of like citrusy scent. But the good thing is that it's so faint. Coming up to almost a month, my skin seems seems to really love this, it's evened out. Now comparing it to this one, which is the number seven mild green soothing, I was like, okay, this is just a soothing serum. I didn't think that it was able to reduce all the redness that I had on my skin, like my nose gets really red, I have kind of patches on my forehead sometimes, my chin gets red when it's coming up to my period, and it wasn't really able to do that, but I think it's actually a really great skin barrier healing serum if you've like, overdone it on your retinols, or you've overdone it on chemical exfoliants. So you only need one pump, and it like goes all over. 
the face. There's noni extract, which is a superfood, mugwort, centella asiatica, there's camilla, there's eggplant. But I think actually what makes this stand out is the fact that it has tremella mushroom as well as shiitake mushroom. And mushroom is able to hydrate your skin so well. It's like a sponge of hydration. It's probably a smidge lighter than this one. And I know Numbers In has a lot of different serums and products, so if there's one specifically that you want me to try next, leave it in the comments. Now, how do, how do, how do, how do, erde, erde. I haven't talked about Haru Haru for a long time because I just still love the original black rice toner. Ah! <laughs> Guys, this is what happens when you do B roll. You can spill everything, but we're going with it. I recommend that to everyone, but they actually came out with a new toner, and this is a Centella 3% PHA Gentle Liquid Exfoliating for pore care. Basically, it's for blackheads, whiteheads, and textured skin. And how that works is because it has the gluconolactone, which is PHA, and I love that so much. Do we see this? Yes, clearly we see it. That is when I use this guy. 3% PHA with Centella. PHA is actually the most gentle form of an exfoliant, so you can use it like every day, every other day, whatever it is, and it will just slowly just like help break down the dead skin that's causing dull looking skin, or that's trapped in your pores causing big blackheads and whiteheads, and just starts to dissolve that. Voila! This is like a gentle version of the Paula's 2% BHA. If you've tried the Peach and Lily toner, it's also kind of like that, but more hydrating. And Haru Haru is actually all about technology as well. The ultra deep technology that helps with hyperpigmentation in their original toner is like the star of the show. In this one, they have a patented anti-sebum P ingredient which controls oil levels to prevent congestion within your pores. Because basically blackheads and whiteheads are like sebum that's stuck in the pore and continues to grow and a blackhead just means it's exposed into the air and turns black much like your fruit turns black your avocados turn black when you leave it out it's the same thing but on your face disgusting oh and in this there's still the black tea ferment but there's also evening primrose flower extract which is great for hyperpigmentation so this literally will be acne hyperpigmentation big pore best friend and that is $28. But I'm so excited because Haru Haru just came out with their black rice sunscreen. So when I get my hands on that, you will be sure to hear about it. Next and final is Pecan. So guys, don't look at this and be like, oh my God, boring. Oh my God. Because this entire line has been specifically designed for acne prone and sensitive skin. Hello, hello. This has been the one that everyone is talking about, but I actually want to talk about this one because I just like got drawn to this. The fact that it's a toner, it's in this little like squidgy bottle and I like used it and was like, oh my God, this milky toner is giving me life and is literally a hug on the face. And that is not all. This guy has some degrees, man, because it's got two trademark patented biotech ingredients to completely brighten and even out your skin. So one is called Nectaria Lithops and the other one is Lumisys. And then on top of that, it's got tranexamic acid, niacinamide, glutathione. All of these are like science backed, proven skin evening, brightening, beautifying ingredients. Like I love tranexamic acid. It's able to like rebalance your skin and literally give it a glow up while just being so calm. Be calm. No other product that I've come across in my five years of Beauty Within that I've actually seen. So it's products like this that get me really excited. I would say like this brand is gonna be one of my favorites. I'm just gonna tell you now. And the last brand is actually Goodle. I just wanna talk a little bit about the reformulation of their popular serum. So basically doubled the brightening qualities of that serum by also adding Centella Asiatica as well as Niacinamide. So it feels so luscious on the skin. I think it's a great entryway into like brightening and hydrating Korean serums because like, oh my God, that whole line is so so good. The mask, gel cream, serum,
serum. Okay, so in an upcoming video, I'm gonna be talking all about how to refresh in your skincare routine if you have combination acne prone oily skin. And this is gonna be with a brand that we've talked about for a really long time. They're coming out with something new. And we're gonna be doing a special giveaway with a really cute bag. So leave your guesses below on what that is. If you're new to the Beauty Within family, hugs. Bye.